So since the beginning of time, as long as I can remember anyways, the old adage was you needed to be level 93, go gamble amulets from whoever, probably Geeves, and then go ahead and start crafting your caster amulets. That way, every single amulet could get two to a character skill and hopefully be incredibly godly and incredibly valuable. Well, actually, now, after the uh, creation of Terror Zones, that is not truly the case. You can actually make these incredibly godly worth many, many high runes caster amulets at a lower level than you ever could before. So first of all, to fully explain how you can actually craft these two to skills caster amulets earlier than you could before, I need to explain exactly why you had to do it at the level you did before and why we did it the way that we did. Now, I'm going to go quick while also trying to explain it as fully as possible because I know math can be a little bit boring. If your eyes glaze over, I apologize, but I got to get into some of the nitty gritty here. First up, how high of an item level do these amulets really need to get two to skills? Now, we're taking a look at the old classic here, Ariat Summit. Any amulet to get two to a character skill on it has to be at least item level 90. We know what it needs to be now, but why do we always gamble amulets at level 93? In order to craft caster amulets. Now, if you look at the formula, the final item level of the caster amulet that you craft is equal to your character level divided by two, plus the item level of the amulet divided by two. But when you're magic finding around in the game, you're never gonna know exactly for sure, unless you go look up every single monster in the game and stuff like that, what item level that amulet's gonna be but there's an easy way to really know exactly what the amulet's gonna be pretty much within a range anyways, and that is gamble it. If you gamble the amulets, they will always be within a range of four levels higher than you and five levels lower than you. So if you are level 93, in the worst case scenario, 93 minus five comes out to 88. So that's the lowest possible item level for that amulet. So when we look at this formula, go ahead and take the 93 divided by two, which will come out to 46 and a half. You always round the decimals down, so 46 plus the level 88, which the amulet at worst case could be divided by two, which comes out to 44. Now that will end up being item level 90. So even in the worst case scenario, each amulet will be level 90, or they could be even higher, all having the chance to get two to a character skill. That's why you always gamble the amulets at level 93 before. But now there's even an easier way to get amulets of a guaranteed item level and you can craft at an even lower level than you could before because of this. And that is, go ahead and hop out and take a look at the Terror Zones. Now, first of all, so I'll go ahead and show you, this is a level 91 Sorceress. And the Terrorized Zone is level 93. The Terrorized Zone are always two levels higher than you, up to level 96. So. We'll know that every single amulet that drops off of even regular white monsters will be at least level 93. And it's it's very, very consistent, very steady. So now that we have that understood, let's go ahead and take a look at this sorceress right here, level 91, getting amulets that are level 93 and seeing what item level these will come out to and if they can get two to character skills. We'll pull up that formula level 91. It'll end up coming out to 45 and a half when it's divided by two. Take that number off. So we got 45 for the first part. The character level of your character. Now the item level of the amulet is 93. That'll come out to 46 and a half and of course you need to round it down so 46. Easy enough. That'll come out to level 91 and boom every single one that we craft will be the exact same level because it doesn't roll within a range like when you gamble. They'll be bam 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 every single one level 91. They will all have the chance to get that caster amulet with two to skills. So as you notice for this level 91 sorceress that I have right here, it ended up rounding everything down and the numbers are actually equal to as if this was a level 90 sorceress. So even if you're one level lower, the Terror Zone will be level 92, you'll be level 90. The calculation ends up with the exact same number. The crafted cast amulet will be level 91, all having a chance to get two to a character skill. But wait, there's more. If your character is level 94, the Terra Zone will be two levels higher than you, and that will be 96. And actually, the standard white monsters, even if it's a level 99 Terra Zone, they are capped at level 96. So from level 94 and up, all of the amulets that drop will be level 96. So we'll go ahead and use that for the calculation if you're grabbing amulets from a Terra Zone created by a character uh, quite a bit higher than your level. So let's start off this calculation right here. We've got 96. You just go ahead and divide it by two. You have 48. That gives us a little bit more room to work with. If our character is even lower, we could go ahead and craft it. And when the calculation is done, you could still come out to high enough levels. 
So let's go ahead and take a level 84 character grabbing amulets from a level 96 terror zone. So level 84 divided by 2 comes out to 42. So when we do the add up the numbers here, 42 plus 48. I don't know if you did the math already in your head, but that comes out to level 90. So even at level 84, if you grab the amulets from a level 96 terror zone, every single amulet you craft could get two to a character skill and even roll with more godly stats like the 20 faster cast rate, all res, magic find, a bunch of other stuff.